It's a 70 year journey that began here in 1946 on Meeting Street in Providence with Dr. Eric Denoff and educator Margaret Poggy Langdon's dream of providing services to children with disabilities and developmental delays. The late doctor's wife, Sylvia, tells me immediately the school was recognized around the world. People came from all over the world to see what they were doing here. I know because I used to have these visitors at my home for dinner. They came from Israel, Japan, England, Norway. This was a center for them to see. In 1957, the school relocated to the Butler Hospital campus in Providence. Still too small for their needs, they moved to their East Providence location in 1976, where they introduced a new team concept of psychological and developmental evaluations, a model program recognized around the world. And in 2006, Meeting Street opened their custom-designed 80,000 square foot building here in Providence. And now with the Schwartz Center in Dartmouth, as part of the Meeting Street family, they educate and serve more than 4,000 children and families every year. It's a rewarding journey to go with a family and to really work with them with their child. Meeting Street President John Kelly says every child is a Meeting Street kid. You name any type of kid, we got them. Uh, we've got kids with the most complicated issues to kids with the most challenging thing is trying to figure out what am I going to do after school today. We've got them all. We've got kids who can read great. We've got kids who are learning their letters. But the big thing we do is we treat them, each one of them as a kid, and each one of them as a learner, because every kid has some type of ability. This year also marks the 40th anniversary of the telethon on WPRI 12. Instrumental in making sure people knew about Meeting Street's story were retired anchors Walter Cryan and Karen Adams. <laughs> For Karen, it will be a night of memories. I tear up because I look out in the audience and the moms and dads are crying and, and the kids are kind of mixed. They're happy they're graduating and sad to leave some of their pals and that's always great. The prom night is always so special because they love their prom night and they get all dressed up in the limos. Countless Rhode Islanders have been a part of the Meeting Street family including the late owner of the Paw Sox, Ben Mondor. I thought about the first time I brought Ben Mondor over to the building. I said, come on, let's go. And we went back to the baby's room and he picked up the little baby and that little baby looked at Ben and Ben looked at him and it was love at first sight and Ben was hooked. And he came back to Meeting Street all the time because he loved it so much. A love shared by so many. And as we turn the page to the beginning of their eighth decade, the message is clear. We're doing a lot more work in our high school now around center-based learning and really making sure we're developing job skills and we're developing daily living skills. There's more and more younger kids out there that we're serving. There's a lot of need in Providence and New Bedford. There's tons of need and we want to make sure we're responsive to all of our families.